Oh, hello. You know, Commander Precons are on the shelves now, but with a retail price of about $41, many Magic the Gathering players might find themselves looking to pick up singles at local game stores in their area rather than purchase the complete pre-constructed product, especially when some of the best brand new cards for Commander are, at least as of the filming of this video, available for only a couple of bucks each. Ah, but which to procure? Presented here are my picks for top five non-legendary new cards from Commander 2019, as well as the singular best new legendary out of all four decks for those who just want to buy, brew, and build. After all, for many it is the skill of Commander that is exciting. And speaking of skill, I would like to take just a moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Right now, Skillshare is giving away a free two-month unlimited access trial to my subscribers who click the link in the description box, and after that, it's only around $10 a month. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. And Skillshare is a service I actually use. I like classes like do-it-yourself filming, creating pro video with tools you already own, by Mark Sersosimo and the tons of other awesome photography and video production courses that are part of what I watch to improve production quality of my own channel. Premium Memberships gives you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Join groups to learn with like-minded learners, give and receive feedback on projects, and speak with others with the same interests as you. Skillshare. All right, for this list, I want to specifically exclude legendary creatures, in particular, the three possible commanders from each deck. Why? Because these are often the best cards in each deck, and I feel like the list would pretty much be, yeah, this is an amazing new legendary for commander, yeah, this is an amazing new legendary for commander, and I instead want to look at which cards for commander from 2019 are of noteworthiness that aren't just the legendaries that maybe we want to put in our existing commander decks. So it's not just going to be a video about me going on and on about how cool Kadena is. But Seriously, Kadena is super cool. Before I get to that list of top five non-legendary new Commander cards from Commander 2019, I will offer what I think the new number one legendary Commander is, and no, it's not any of the four face cards, nor their alternates. It's not even a multicolored card, sorry Gerard, but it is in fact his counterpart, the Son of Yogmoth. It's no wonder Son of Yogmoth is the most expensive card out of all of the Commander 2019 cards. He is powerful, oppressive, prone to out of control combo, and quite frankly, potentially broken. A perfect counterpart to your already potentially broken Urza deck. Son of Yogmoth is a legendary creature, a horror minion, that reads, for each black mana in a cost, you may pay two life rather than pay that mana. Also, whenever you cast a black spell, put a plus one plus one counter on the Son of Yogmoth. That's not really what's relevant. What is relevant is that now black mana becomes Phyrexian mana. Ah, Phyrexian mana. Broken, 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 broken. So let's not only put it on a commander, but have that commander make all black mana and black mana activation costs Phyrexian as well. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. <laughs> Let me start with the easy stuff. Pontiff of Blight. Go wide and drop this to drain your way to a game win. As Pontiff gives Son of Yogmoth Extort, and Extort can now be paid with Phyrexian mana. Pay two life, and assuming you have three opponents, they each lose one life, and you gain life equal to the life lost, meaning you paid two life to gain three life. 
rinse, repeat. Even in a commander game with only two opponents, you are still breaking even on life. And this is just one of countless combinations that the Son of Yogmoth can create, let alone just getting cards like Phyrexian Obliterator, Necropotence, and even Doomsday, all for the Phyrexian mana free cost. Amazing card, and overall the best legendary in the entire Commander 2019 set. But what about non-legendary cards? I have five for you, and four of them are very underpriced at the moment. Hey, one is expensive, but you know what? Whatever. This isn't Commander's Quarters, okay? Get off my back! <clears throat> Let's start with an excellent accelerant that is designed to go in just about every deck. At only about 325 each at the moment, Empowered Auto Generator is a powerful gem or er, artifact. Empowered Auto Generator costs four generic mana. It's an artifact that enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap it to put a charge counter on Empowered Auto Generator, add X mana of any one color, where X is the number of charge counters on Empowered Auto Generator. So this to me is reminiscent of storage lands like Dwarven Hold and Spars... Uh, um, Spars... So, oh my goodness, what a tongue twister of a card. But Empowered Auto Generator has so much more going for it. First, this can go in any deck because you get to add mana of any color to your mana pool. Meaning even if you are missing that mana from a land you control, you can still generate it with the Auto Generator. But where things get very powerful here is that unlike storage lands, when you tap to add your charge counter to the generator, you automatically get mana equal to the number of counters. So this thing is like a perpetual motion mana machine. I think it's currently very much under the radar right now, as having the ability to both charge and get mana each turn is very powerful indeed. The only drawback is the four mana price and the fact it enters tapped, but with so many soul rings, this could conceivably drop on turn two, accelerating your game further and faster than your opponents by far. Great for any and all decks that don't have access to much in the way of ramp. Coming up next is a $1.75 card from Commander 2019 that I think might suddenly skyrocket once players realize how potent and powerful it really is. Sabotage your opponents and take their treasures in a split second. It's Sudden Substitution. Sudden Substitution is too generic and too blue for an instant with split second, which of course means as long as the spell is on the stack, players can't cast spells or activate abilities that aren't mana abilities. Exchange control of target non-creature spell and target creature. Then the spell's controller may choose new targets for it. Bow before the might of... Uh, wait, what? So yeah, as others have said, you cast Summoner's Pact, and then before it resolves, Sudden Substitution grabs one of your opponent's creatures, and then assuming your opponent doesn't have the mana to pay for Summoner's Pact, they lose the game. These sorts of shenanigans work with so many many cards, from Final Fortune to just a plain old-fashioned demonic pack. But it isn't just trickery such as this that makes this card so great. It's an easy and effective answer to the bomb creatures all your opponents will inevitably play. It's commander. Your opponents are going to resolve some insane threat. Why have it die to removal when you can just control it for the rest of its life? And yeah, if you want to get fancy, you can just give them a one with nothing in exchange. Split second means they can't do much to stop you. All right, next up is a mostly universal card. Now, Whenever I talk about Universal and Commander, there's always exceptions, of course, and I've been trying to watch my language and be a bit more accurate, but suffice it to say that a colorless land that has an extremely positive effect, let alone potential trickery involving your Commander, is absolutely something that many Magic the Gathering players will want in their Commander decks. And still, at only $3 each, Sanctum of Eternity is a fantastic card to snap up. Sanctum of Eternity is a land. You can tap it for a colorless mana, or spend two and tap to return target commander you own from the battlefield to your hand. Activate this ability only during your turn. Mmm, come and rest here, beyond the constraints of space and time. 
Now, when this card was first previewed, many had fun coming up with goofy combo possibilities involving everything from Zakama and Panharmonicon to Atrata the Silencer. But what I really like about this card are the more practical and, let's be frank, realistic uses. First of all, by bouncing your commander to your hand, you are able to get around the commander tax, something that rapidly escalates in a lot of games as your commander repeatedly dies to removal. Now, it does have the restriction that you can only activate it during your turn turn, so any of those sorcery speed wraths are not going to be during your turn, but it'll still escape that instant speed removal on your turn that your opponent might try for. What I like about Sanctum is that it also helps you out of a pinch for mind control effects and spells like Dark Steel Mutation. Bounce your commander back to your hand to regain control of it, or just get it out of that Kafka-esque nightmare. Also, all commanders with Enter the Battlefield effects like Maelstrom Wanderer, Gaunty Lord of Luxury, or Shroom can start getting real value out of their Enter the Battlefield effect. Either way, at $3, this is a great pickup for many Commander players who didn't already pick up Merciless Rage. But why dither around returning your Commander to hand when you can do even better and return your opponent's Commanders to their own hands, all for a cantrip that replaces itself and protects you from no-answer situations, and it's only a buck eighty-five each. It's Leadership Vacuum. Leadership Vacuum is a blue and two generic for an instant that says, target player returns each commander they control from the battlefield to the command zone. Draw a card. Mmm, while they scramble to fill the sudden vacancy at the top. We strike, finally an answer to those locked up Sigarda board states. This is, well, any answer to any commander as it doesn't target the commander. So that means it gets around, cannot sacrifice effects, gets around shroud, and it draws you a card to replace itself. You can even just use it to mess up their tempo while also clearing away whatever nightmare commander your opponent has brought into play. Get wrecked, Ural, who actually the art itself is portraying getting wrecked. In a pinch, you can even target yourself, bouncing a dark steel mutated command or perhaps make a political offer to do so for an opponent in a jam. Imagine the damage that hitting your opponent's Voltron commander as all those enchantments and counters go shattering to the ground. Problems with this card are that it does have a slightly high mana cost to cast and the fact that it hits only one opponent instead of all. But I still think this is a fantastic card and if you didn't buy Faceless Menace or Mystic Intellect, it's something you might consider picking up as it's under two bucks each. So. You probably accurately guessed that the best card out of the entire Commander 2019 set is also the most expensive one on this list, save of course for the Son of Yawgmoth. It's a fantastic Commander design, and I think an auto run in almost every deck that shares a color with it. Costing only one generic and red, Dockside Extortionist, sadly, is a whopping $13 as of today, and this is definitely the Teferi's protection of the set as the Lone Chase card found only in Mystic Intellect. Dockside Extortionist is a generic and a red for a goblin pirate. Arr! When Dockside Extortionist enters the battlefield, create X treasure tokens, where X is the number of artifacts and enchantments your opponents control. Now, treasure tokens are artifacts that you can tap to sacrifice to add one mana of any color. Oh my goodness, a small price to keep such pretty things safe. This card isn't just fun, it's also highly competitive. By itself, you can generate huge pools of mana for bringing your plans to fruition, and paired with Eldrazi Displacer or Deadeye Navigator, this can just go wild. But mono red decks like my beloved Felden and obviously Kiki Jiki would love this too. Seriously, considering how many artifacts and enchantments easily drop in Commander, you could bring this out early or late for some big mana bucks, giving you major advantage to push through for a win. It's no wonder it's going for $13 each. And sadly, I don't think that price is going to stay there for long, as this will rapidly become one of the more requested reprint targets. Luckily, Commander-only cards like this get reprinted frequently, right? So it's not going to be 50 bucks in just a year or two, right? Uh, right? Hello?
But now I want to hear from you. What do you think are the best non-legendary cards from Commander 2019 and why? Are you going to skip buying the pre-cons and just buy the singles you need for the decks you want to build or already own and want to upgrade? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, Target and Walmart doesn't even have singles for sale. So when you're perusing to save some money, try and do it at your local game store where single sales are very important. Flip through those folders and see if you find some hidden treasure. You're supporting your magic community if you do. And this program was made possible thanks to a sponsorship from Card Kingdom as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. So thank you.